We will now demonstrate the two types of Rubens maneuvers that have been advocated. The Rubin 1 maneuver involves inserting the hand anteriorly under the symphysis to try to reach the anterior shoulder and rotate it in a clockwise direction. This is oftentimes quite difficult because the head is usually retracted forcefully against the maternal perineum and in many instances could result in inadvertent forceful downward traction on the fetal head, risking injury to the brachial plexus. However, some delivering attendants have found this maneuver possible and acceptable, but in my hands many of the other maneuvers are easier and more successful. The Rubens II maneuver is frequently confused with the Woods maneuver. The Rubin II maneuver involves inserting the hand posteriorly on the dorsum of the fetal back and rotating the shoulder. In this particular instance, the rotation is clockwise. The hand is inserted into the vagina, the back located, and the baby turned in a clockwise direction, freeing up the shoulder and allowing delivery either in this position or with a complete turn.